Political parties gear up for the upcoming general elections. Rahul Gandhi promises right to health in Dehradun rally on Sunday, says UPA government trying to bring anti-graft ordinances. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi also meets ex-army men under Congress's manifesto-making campaign in Dehradun, praises sacrifices made by army persons and assures them of party's support. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi to visit Haryana to address a public uh, meeting and lay also the foundation stone of international horticulture market to be set up over 597 acres of land in Sonipat. will also meet ex-servicemen in Chandigarh. Narendra Modi campaigns in Punjab attacks the Congress on the issue of corruption, says alliance between Shiromani Akali Dal and the BJP is not a political alliance but a symbol of Punjab's social unity. Aam Aadmi Party launches its Lok Sabha campaign from Rohtak. Arvind Kejriwal targets Modi and Rahul on gas pricing issue, alleges influence of money in media surveys. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav flags off a cycle rally from Jamtar Mantar in the capital. The cycle rally of the Samajwadi Party aimed to woo voters is scheduled to reach Lucknow on the 6th of March. Delhi Congress launches a poll call abhiyan against the Aam Aadmi Party leader Arvind Kejriwal in New Delhi. It blamed Kejriwal of failing in fulfilling the promises he made to the people of Delhi. Congress President Sonia Gandhi to visit Rai Bareilly for two days ahead of the Lok Sabha elections will meet former MLAs, Pradesh Congress committee members and also address the public. TRS Chief K. Chandrasekhar Rao meets Congress President Sonia Gandhi in the national capital. He expresses gratitude for the passage of Telangana Bill. Supreme Court to hear today the case involving Italian Marines Latour and Giron facing murder charges. It will call its ambassador in New Delhi back for consultations. Union Finance Minister P. Chidambaram expresses satisfaction with the outcome of G20, says India's concerns with regard to tapering IMF quota reforms addressed in the G20 communique. Supreme Court to hear Aam Aadmi Party's plea seeking direction to dissolve Delhi Assembly and hold fresh polls along with the Lok Sabha elections. The joint petition challenged the decision to impose President's rule in the capital. India and China to hold a number of high-level dialogues this year. Deputy Chief of China's People's Liberation Army to hold annual defense dialogue with Indian Defense Secretary R.K. Mathur in New Delhi today. President Pranam Mukherjee inaugurates the National Conference on Tuberculosis and Allied Diseases at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Says that global tuberculosis control is unattainable without controlling the incidence of the disease in the country. And at least 12 people were killed and 14 others injured in a bomb blast in northwest Pakistan. A factory making improvised explosive devices and a huge quantity of explosives were also destroyed. Parliament in Ukraine names its speaker as interim president. Alexandra Turchnov takes charge following dismissal of President Viktor Yanukovych. And continuing with international news, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi faces his first test before national parliament, goes before the Senate to seek to win a confidence vote in his newly elected government. In sports, Sochi Winter Olympics ends with a spectacular closing ceremony. Host Russia tops the medals table, but news of two more athletes testing positive for banned substances dims the Golden Globe. And Somdev Devarman lifts ATP men's singles tennis title. He beats top seed Alexandri Nadvasyev.
Delhi Wave Riders defeat Punjab Warriors in the penalty shootout to emerge as the champions in the second edition of the Hockey India League at Rachi. Wave Riders overcome Warriors 3-1 in the shootout after the regulation time ended in a 3-all tie.